Hi, I'm PGA professional Mark Panagoni at Eagle Ridge Golf Academy in Summerfield, Florida. We're going to talk about how to swing the club without hurting your back. It's all part of the 12-word sentence on how to hit a golf ball. The most important thing in swinging a golf club to avoid hurting your back is that you're on your left side when you uh, hit the ball and that you finish on your left side with your weight, your body has to be on your left leg, especially your hips. If your hips are to the left, then, then you're gonna engage the hip joint, which is a ball and socket and designed to rotate. So once your body, especially your hips, are, are, is, your hips are shifted to the left, then, then you'll be able to, to rotate your body on your hip joint. If your body is not shifted to the left, but is balanced in the middle, then when you swing to rotate through the shot, you're going to twist your lower back and you're going to twist your knees. And you're going to have that look and it's going to be very painful. So and it causes back pain and, and, and if you do it as hard as you can, which is what most people do, then they really torque their lower back and it, after time it starts to wear down. Uh, but the benefits as far as your, to your game are uh, you're, once you've shifted your weight to the left, then you create the bottom of your arc or the bottom of your golf swing is more to the left and you won't hit behind the ball anymore. Um, secondly, if you don't have your hip shifted to the left, your body won't rotate properly. So when it doesn't rotate properly, you get the chicken wing. That's from your right side still being over your right side when you hit the ball. If you had shifted to your left, when you go to hit the ball, your right side is moved through towards the left side and it allows your arms to stay extended. And then you can follow through like the pros do. But it all comes down to are you on your left leg when you hit the ball or not? Personally, I prefer to shift to my left before I ever swing the club. That gives me a head start on what I know I need to do anyway. And then, as I swing it back, I try to make a backswing that allows me to stay on that left side by swinging inward and do many steps to keep, the, to keep my left side on, shifted to the left, or my body shifted to the left. And therefore, when I get to the ball, it almost guarantees that I'll be on my left leg and I won't hit behind the ball. And then I can shift and follow through. The other benefit of being shifted to the left is it creates a path from inside in order to hit the ball. When you're not shifted to the left, you'll swing it out and over the top. So practice that, set up on your left side, or if you don't want to set up on your left side, at least make sure you're shifted to the left when your club hits the ball. It creates a good golf swing, but it also creates a healthy back and no um, twisted muscles or pulled muscles and uh, no ruptured discs.